For those few of you who do not know who I am, I am Kwame McDonald, a longtime resident of St. Paul, Minnesota. When one leaves the community three times, uh, actually, they leave for what they think are better opportunities. Each time I've left St. Paul, I have found better opportunities that were temporary, more temporary uh, than long. But I kept being called back to St. Paul, not necessarily by people, but then again by people. But a spirit that brought me back to St. Paul caused me to keep coming back. One of the things about St. Paul that is unique in other communities I've been in is its spirituality, its innate love for self and each other. When you walk down the street in St. Paul, you feel wanted. When you're sitting in a coffee shop in St. Paul, you feel wanted. When you are teaching young people how to do things, you feel wanted. And I suppose I could use another word uh, than wanted. You feel needed. You feel a part of what's going on and every little contribution that you make is important to that particular community. Specifically, first time I came to St. Paul in 1959 to work with the St. Paul Urban League. I met some young people in the Urban League who were trying to be college students. These young people and their parents made me feel wanted and needed in St. Paul. Feeling that I could do more, I moved on to the state level State Department of Non-Discrimination. The thing that I wanted to do there and I felt that I could do was show people how to better get along and show both white and black and brown and gold and red that there's a place for them as well. And we tried to do that through various activities with young people going all over the state. I then had an opportunity to go to another place that I love and that's in North Carolina. I was asked to come to Durham, North Carolina to serve on the staff of the North Carolina Fund. This was to work with children and adults who were in poverty and for whom little was being done to get them off of poverty. After a few years there, I sojourned to New York and then to New Jersey at Rutgers University. All of these places that I've worked have been very rewarding for me. I kept feeling a lure from St. Paul, Minnesota. My wife loved 
St. Paul as well. And we've lived, as you can tell, all over the nation just about. And never have we found it so comfortable and so satisfying as when we live in St. Paul, Minnesota. And St. Paul, of course, is a place that has a way of calling you and then putting you in a place where you're bound to thrive, not just survive, but bound to thrive. I'm so glad that I was able to come back to St. Paul three different times. And as I have been told by doctors and medical experts, this will be the place that I will uh, leave this world as we know it. I've been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Uh, I expect not to live longer than another month or so from the time that I've, I'm giving this. But I felt it, felt an obligation to talk to people about St. Paul to talk to people about the vast human, physical, and fiscal resources in St. Paul that can cause one to benefit not only to survive, but to thrive as well. I have just finished teaching courses at Johnson, I have taught at University of Minnesota, have taught at Concordia College. But my most recent activities at Johnson High School with the youngsters there and the faculty and staff have made me feel worthwhile. I spent the last three years working at Johnson High School and also volunteering in various organizations that work with young people. I have found that as I work with young people, I am fulfilled. When I say fulfilled, I mean that I'm fortunate to have been around long enough to see some of those young people grow and be of service to the community. In fact, my major caretaker at this point is a young woman that I found at 16 years old and a student in Central High School by the name of um, Mary Kay Boyd. She is as perfect a person as I know. There are several people I could name who have been a part of my life and I a part of theirs. Kofi Robert Hickman is one who I have partnered with and who we have co-taught in various organizations, Johnson High School being one. And our spirit is what keeps us going and keeps us together. I personally have not one regret 
of my sojourn in St. Paul, Minnesota. It has been best for me and my family. And in all of these travels, I have to mention my wife, Mary, who for 53 years was at my side, oftentimes pushing, many times pulling, but she was always at my side and assuring that we would have co-success in those things that we did. She, of course, is a highly decorated teacher who has done so much for many kids in many schools and caused them to prosper. And for over 50 years, we've had a son, Mitchell, who is carrying on the work that we have tried to be successful in. I am now at the point where I am ready to move on to my next life. If it were not for the people of St. Paul and yes, other communities as well, Durham, state of Washington, New York City, New Brunswick, New Jersey, New York, New Brunswick, New Jersey, and other places that all have contributed my growth. And I, in return, have tried to contribute to the growth of those communities as those communities have helped me grow. This is my way of bidding farewell. There are not enough days left in my life to discuss each and every experience that I've had, nor is there time or space for me to share with you all of those things that I would like to convey. But let me just say this, that a way of making sure that you give all that you can give and that you get all that you can get is to give of self and help other people give of self. Always remember that self-love leads to self-initiative, which leads to advancement of self. And remember this, that one cannot advance by self without advancing along with others, being pulled by others, being pushed by others, and also, as we say, hooking up. There's much more I could say, but again, as I said before, we would be here for the rest of this century, and it just got started 11 years ago. Thank you very much. Basic thing that I think young people need is self love and self confidence. If you love yourself, you will never let you down. Be who you are. Do not try to be somebody else that you think you would like to be. Be who you are. 
and it will all come together. <laughs>